we continue with our teaching titled The Power of Testimony. Thank you for joining us and be blessed as you listen. Yeah, you want to be this person, that person. Good. But this is the person that God gave you. I don't think that Jeremiah wanted to be a prophet. Is he? I don't think he wanted. God called him from a tender age. I was also once in the diplomatic uh, um, career and um, <laughs> acted as ambassador also. But that's not my calling. <laughs> it nearly costed my life. Yeah. Even as good as I was. When you don't know who you are, you will do everything that is you are not and you will lose every battle. Your words will contradict what God said about you. Your actions will contradict what God said about you. So, you have a testimony that is contrary to the testimony of God. You will never win Satan. He will beat you hands down. If you want to be a, 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 a pilot and you have the word of God, they say you'll be a carpenter. Say, God, thank you. I'm grateful. I remember the story they told us of that sister. She was a, a principal of a school in West Africa there. And until she retired, she finished, she had a career, finished as a principal of a school. And when she finished, she didn't have a house. Not a, not a house to stay in after retirement. <laughs> she went to church. She's been a Christian all through. She went to God and cried to God. After so many weeks or what days of fasting, I can't remember. God told her, go and plant uh, vegetable. I think I told that story before. Go and plant vegetable in your garden. So she said, okay. She went and bought vegetable leaves and planted in her garden. You know this, what they call, I don't know the name, one of those uh, fresh vegetables. She planted in her garden, and when it was matured, you know, it doesn't waste time, she cut them, and she didn't know what to do, because there was no other thing. She got just a plant it. So she, there were a lot, so she just packed it and put it in front of her door, and of, her, of the house where she was renting. Suddenly, one day or so, I can't remember how long, some people were passing. Sir, who is selling this thing? They say, they call her, she says, she said, um, she doesn't know how much she will sell it. She just said an amount. Hey, they, thank you. The next time, do you have that? In the, before you know it, she had to go and rent a farm and planted vegetables. And before you know it, she has bought the farm, planting only vegetables. She has bought a car. She started building a house because she was supposed to have been a farmer. But she went into principality and become a principality herself. Wasted all the years doing what she was not called for. Sometimes I look at God and say, Lord, forgive me. I thought I was going to be a fine diplomat and I was doing well. I should have come earlier. Yes. I also messed up. I didn't want to be a pastor. A diplomat. Nice, nice. That time when diplomacy had meaning, not now. There's no diplomacy now. Amen. Many of you are doing the same thing now. God will even send somebody who's going to marry you. When you look at the man, the kind of eye you will look at the man, the man's trousers will begin to wet because he will, he will, he will defecate and pee. Because he will not near you. Fear! He will go away. Angels will, will shake their heads and go away. Then you come back. Oh Lord, my husband, Abia, 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 Abia. Satan will say, you rejected him. Therefore, we will marry you. They will send you a husband. <laughs> Evil court is sitting now. And so is the court of the Almighty. Every time, even when you are sleeping, you are in the court. Wrong identity. If you notice that you are not able to multitask, you know what I mean, multitask? Eh? Yeah, you can't do 
many things at the same time. You only want to face one side. When you finish it, then after that side, you don't know any other thing. You have a big problem. You, will, you, you, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are compromised. You have been tampered with. You have been reconstructed. Satan, we, we, are, we were designed to be multitasking. Go and check it. That's why God planted so many things in the garden and he asked the man, tend him. So the man knew how to tend all of them. The one that needs this, the one that needs that, different needs of different plants. Isn't it also? Uh, some of you don't even know what I'm talking about. Farm, you only eat food. Oh. So, yes, you were able to multitask. That's why Adam was naming so many people. Oh, this one would be animal, uh, dog. This one would be cow. This one would be flying bird. We had that wisdom. If you want to check again, you go and see when God was, God was telling Moses about building um, the tabernacle. Remember? He said, I will send you, I have sent somebody who I have given the wisdom in all kinds of art crafts. God doesn't give you one thing. He will give you one that is close into all, many. When we say taking a gate, it's not the same as taking a door. A gate has many doors. But a door is one single. May you take gates in Jesus' name. May you take gates in Jesus' name. So, not being able to multitask is a serious problem. And then, number, number four, or number five, uh, negative thoughts. Negative words. And no matter how you do, you just can't control it. You you feel small, you feel even when people are envying you, you don't see that they are envying you. Because to you, you look like a trash. If somebody comes there, he's a bit plumpy, hey, I wish I was like that. If somebody comes there, he's a bit fat, oh, I wish I was like that. Somebody tells you, my wife told me a story, one pastor was preaching, from West Africa. He said there was a man who was going on a journey with his, uh, his son and they were going on a horse. So the man put the son on top of the horse and he was walking with the son, which is normal. It's a small child, isn't it also? I mean, he should, he's, he's a young child, so let him be on the horse while you walk because you are stronger, isn't it also? That's what a father should do. Uh, some people are not nodding their head. Ah. <clears throat> in West Africa, when you don't have food, the little you have, you give it to your children. Say, give the children first. Here in Namibia, you eat it first. Then later you say the child is domestic violence. No, you taught the child violence. You stabbed him, so he became violent. <laughs> Amen? Amen? No, 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 they don't know. You taught the child violence. You taught the child to steal. Another because you stabbed him. You saw that you are cruel. So when he sees a woman, he will beat the woman, remembering what you did to him. So they were going. Then they met somebody. The person said, "Ah, what's wrong with you? He? What kind of is just uh, um, um, uh, useless man is this? Your child is on the horse, and you are on the foot. Who is the father now? Who is the child?" <clears throat> the man said, "Eh, he removed the child. Put the child down." And enter the horse. As you are going, again, they saw another person. The person said, Ah, hey, come and see a oh, wicked man. You are on a horse and your child is on the ground. Hey, wicked man. He came down from the horse. He and the child started walking with the horse together. That is exactly what I see in the midst of you. Any wind that blows, it will carry you. That is why somebody will come to church. You met here. One day he will just tell you um, one story. He says it's true. He begins to go. When he has gotten outside, he will drop you. He will walk away. You will never see him again. You are just like that man who does not know the proper thing to do. If you know who you are and you are not tampered with, you, you are, your, your sense of negativism will be very, very low. And you will challenge it. Because once it comes across the line you want to pass, you will say, no, Satan, I reject it. No. I, I was listening to one of the pastors. 
preaching. He was saying, he said, there are times when you have to be loud. When the enemy becomes very persistent in your heart, open your mouth and say, no! Don't care where, don't, don't bother where you are. You are in battle, fight. Because he's pressing you. He knows you are in a place where you cannot do anything. Your friends will say, are you crazy? Why are you talking to yourself? He said, talk. If you are a negative person, all those negative words you said, they are recorded. And when you want to convert them, you will have a battle to fight. First, you must go to the court because for that negative word, you have been sentenced. Am I communicating? There are many others, but I can't go there now because of time. But let me just add this one. If you are not challenged by your uncomfortableness to move out of it, you have been dis- you have been reconstructed. If you are not challenged by your uncomfortableness, you know that this is not the best God has for me. This can be better. I can be better. No, but you are not challenged. You are okay with it. You just. Okay, you saw that Peter is having something similar. You saw that Paul, something has similar. You believe that, okay, it's for everybody. No, you are not everybody. You are you. So what happened to you? Why should it be Paul? Why should it be Peter? The way Peter wrote and the way Paul wrote, they are not the same. Go to the Bible and see. They all had their identity. And God used you according to your identity. Your gift announces you. I can never be like any other pastor. Never. Even if I hear something from a pastor, the, Lord, the way the Lord will make me minister it to me, when I present it, it, the pastor will not know I'm talking about that thing he said. It will be different. Because my identity will show. If you take my books and take some of the books of spiritual warfare, they are different. You see total, you see difference. And the identity is, is different. Is this is different? So it will reflect. Why must you be a copycat? You have to be a copycat because you are comfortable in your failure. You are comfortable in your limitations. You are comfortable in the things that the devil gave you to keep you in that problem. You are not challenged. Say, no, I could be better. A person who can move and be moved in the spirit to step out, we meet God. The day you step out, you meet God. You will never do so. If you have been reconstructed, you will accept this negative. He said, so, one man told me, we call him to do a work here. He's, he's 39. I said, how old are you? He said, I'm 39. He said, you will soon die. He said, you will soon die. At 39. I said, Tufiakwa. What is that? The, the, even in the world, they say, life starts at 40. Hey! He said, no, uh, he, he said, he's too old. At 13, he will soon, re- he's retiring uh, to, to the farm. I said, for doing what? For being a, a carpenter. This one where you could not even do what we told you to do. I said, you're a failure. A big failure. He never, he said, he will not come to the city again. He went back to the farm. He said, he, he needs to go to the farm so that he can die there. You can't preach to that person. You will never accept. The devil has reconstructed them and said that the best you can be is this bash where we put you. For him, that is the best. He will, he will leave the bash that way. Somebody was brought to the, from the village to come to the city to recover. After a while, he said, no, I want to go back to my house. No, uh, this place is too comfortable. Eh? The children said, what did you say? He said, this place is too comfortable. So you want to go back to that place? One of them went there and demolished it. He said, I want to see where you go now. She cried, cried. And put a curse on that child. The child said, no, mama. That curse is a blessing. 
We're building your house. So they went to somewhere. Somewhere in Wudu and bought a house. And, and built a small, this small house with blocks and everything. Put everything there. Say, Mama, that's your house. So we can always visit you. If you want to visit the village, we'll be going there. Every weekend we'll go. She's still living. She's now reversing the curse. But the anointing she used to cause is not the same you used to anoint the problem. Did anybody understand what I'm teaching today? You have already been judged because you took the testimony. Um, I want to testify. Praise God. Amen. Yeah, that is tes- that's the only testimony you know. No. There's a bigger testimony. The one that is dangerously dangerous. Is a testimony about God concerning you. This one you say here is already a, a, a case closed, a battle finished. The other one is worse because that is the one you take to the court. That is the one you take to the battle. You see your husband say useless man, finish, he will be useless. They will make sure he's useless. You see your wife say, You look at this one, you dirty pig. If he was that neat, she will become a pig. Dirty pig. Nice. You will see that things will be going down. Your word is framed by your words. Just like God did. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. He said by faith we understand that the world was framed by God. By his word. Say every evil court holding against me. Be confused and scatter. Be confused and scatter. Be confused and scatter. Be confused and scatter. Powers that reconstructed me fire and be destroyed. Catch fire and be destroyed. Catch fire and be destroyed. If you would like to be born again, all you have to do is pray this simple prayer from your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I believe you died for me. I confess all my sins and renounce every darkness. Be my Lord and Savior and fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. I believe I am now born again. In Jesus' name. For more information about additional sermons, service times, crusades, and special programs of Life Changing Christian Church, please contact us on 085-551-5495. If you would like to inquire about our powerful and life-changing spiritual warfare books, please contact us on 081-829-3291. You can also get in touch with us on Facebook or Instagram or visit our online store www.lccstore.com Worship with us at Gemeente Inn, corner of David Gorasep and Invokavit Street, Katutura, near the old Roman Catholic Church at former Vomanbrock Masejo. Stay blessed.